Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today, I've got the Arbeg Dark Cove versus the Arbeg Dark Cove Committee release. How does that extra 8.5% factor in? I'll let you know when I nose them, taste them, and give them a mark. All right, starting with the standard release, 46.5% ABV on the nose. So typical Ardbeg character to this. That salt, brine, iodine, kind of peat note. Definitely get it on here. Definitely that art big house style. Like, like, like that rubber, like the rubber kind of note. Love that. Then you get sherry. Kind of like a dank, musty kind of sherry note to this. It's like the sweetness. Very prominent sweetness on this one too. Really interesting. And then dry oak for sure. Yeah, so like typical Art Big character, sherry, like that dank sherry, dry oak. Let's go palette. Lots of sweetness here. It's almost kind of like a candy cane that's not mint flavored. I only have those like other kind of flavors of candy cane. I get that sweetness here. And then the sherry note carries over, the like dank kind of sherry. Um, raisins, dates kind of go along with that. Uh, finish, long finish here. Um, I'd say kind of like a licorice kind of sweetness. Like that sweetness goes from like that that non-mint candy cane to a licorice, like a black licorice, like all sorts. Um, I don't know if you have a black licorice all sorts before, but here's what they look like. Um, really, really get that heavy, heavy on the finish. The peat, obviously there, drawn out. And then the oak, dry oak on this. I'm gonna say that I don't necessarily love the wood oak influence in this. I think it's the only thing that's holding this whiskey back for me. Otherwise, all those notes, that typical Arbeg character, plus those like sweetness, that sweet note is so, so good. You get the sherry kind of fruit notes to go along with that. And then that oak, just not my style per se. It's the only thing that's holding this whiskey back. Otherwise, really, really awesome stuff. Uh, score wise for me on this one, I'm going 87 out of 100 for value. I paid 150 US dollars for this. That's a secondary market price. Uh, way too expensive. Absolutely way too expensive. I'm pulling off uh, a point and a half for value on this, bringing it down to 85 and a half out of 100. Let's go on to the committee release. All right, the committee release is about at 55% ABV. Let's see how it is on the nose. So very similar to the regular release. You have that rubber, iodine, salt, that dank sherry. But you get more sweetness here. I'd say like the of more fresh kind of sweetness. The sherry, still a little like dank, but more fresh, I'd say. Than the, than the regular release. Touch more vibrancy on that sweetness too. I would say I like this nose a little bit better than the standard. Let's go palette. That salt, brine, kind of like sea air essence. Very, very strong on the palate. You get the dates, the figs to go along with that sherry. Peat, for sure, lots of peat. Finish on this one. The finish on here is where these two differ the most, I think. I get this like peppercorn steak sauce, this like red wine reduction kind of sauce on the finish on this one, it's so, so good. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, I definitely like the committee release more than the standard. As far as the oak is concerned, that dry oak note on the finish on this one, again, just is not as prevalent, I don't think, as the standard. It seems like those peppercorns, um, 
kind of over overwhelm it. I still do pick up a little bit of that dry oak and I don't necessarily love that note on this one. Only again, only thing holding it back for me is that, that those those oak notes and when I first cracked this bottle, I was disappointed with it. It took a long time for this to open up and get to the point where I was like, okay, wow, now this is the whiskey that everyone's been talking about because a lot of people love this whiskey. A lot of people will say this is their favorite Ardbeg special release. Um, I'm not going to say it's necessarily my, well, it's up there. I'm going to score it. I'm going to score it 88 and a half out of a hundred just because those, that finish with those peppercorns, that red wine reduction sauce, that is, that is phenomenal finish on this one. Um, value for this. So I paid 165 US dollars for this. That's a secondary price, but that was back when secondary prices on these were just a little bit above retail. Nowadays, these things are going for like 250 US dollars and up. I mean, you might see this thing in a store for a crazy uh, price tag, you know, like 400 or something. $250 is where these bottles are currently selling for on the secondary at time of recording. Um, still, even when I paid 165 US for this, I'm still taking off a half point, bringing it down to 88 out of 100, just because there's not much of an improvement in my opinion versus their core range. Like if you look, go back and look at my Ardbeg core range review, I'll link to it here. I think I scored, you know, the Yugadel and the Koi of Reckon either the same or maybe like a half point higher. So half the price, just the amount, just the same amount of enjoyability in my opinion. Um, let's get to the main differences to these head to head. So as far as the nose is concerned, um, very similar in aspects between standard and community release. I think the main difference is you get that more kind of sweetness with the committee release that I really, really liked. That sherry, um, instead of being more on like the dank, kind of like musty side, it's more kind of vibrant and like sweet. I like that a lot about the committee release on that one. As far as palate's concerned, I would say that that peppercorn uh, red wine sauce that you get on the committee release, you don't find that on the standard. And that's kind of the whole main difference, in my opinion, what I picked up um, between the two. That's what stood out the most, the finish on the committee release, which just had that awesome, awesome peppercorn uh, note to it that I really, really liked. So that's kind of the main difference, in my opinion. Um, both really nice whiskeys, both overpriced on the secondary market. I still think that the standard range, the Yugadal, the Cory of Reckon, um, you know, you're paying what half the price for those, and they're just as good, in my opinion, or even maybe slightly better, um, but right in the same ballpark, as far as I'm concerned. Um, let's see how this is versus the Yugadal, because those are the kind of that's where you kind of want to compare. That's the sherried kind of core range one. These are both sherried. Let's see how that uh, compares. All right, so with the Yugadal. I mean, this nose, this is more of like, you're getting less of that brine, rubber, salt characteristic, but you're getting more of the sherry note on the nose for sure, on the palate. More sherry, the finish, a little bit of spiciness. You're not getting that like peppercorn, Red wine, red wine, like reduction sauce that I was picking up on this. But this is a great, great whiskey. Um, I really, really do like this one. I think I scored this one 88 and a half as well. Um, but I think I added a point, or I think I added a half point for value to make it 89 just because, I mean, you're going to get this bottle in the States anywhere between, what, 70, like around $70, 65 $70 for this one. In the states um you can get the cory of reckon 75 to 85 to 90 ish kind of it seems like it's going up a little bit more but i still think that the core range this with in the in the cory of reckon are are better buys um you're gonna break your neck finding these on the secondary market and paying for them um not to say that it's not worth sourcing them out but you're gonna overpay it's for sure these are not worth their price on the secondary whatsoever. Um, 
I like the core range stuff just as much. That's my review. Let me know what you think. Arbeg. The Dark Coves. I know a lot of people think this is their, their favorite whiskey um, from the Arbeg range. Let me know if you've tried Committee Release versus Standard Release. Let me know what you think about the Yugadel, the core range. What's your favorite Arbeg? Um, stay tuned. Got some more Arbeg releases coming up. Uh, Arbeg Day is coming up really, really soon. I'm going to be reviewing the Arbeg Drum Committee release, and I'm going to an Arbeg event uh, here in Toronto for Arbeg Day, June 1st. So I'll report back and uh, see what I tried there. Hopefully they got some good stuff. As always, have a good one. Cheers.